Uh, this is Tamman here doing what I love and welcome to another episode of NFL 2020 weekly predictions. Last part we did week two, today we're going to do week three. But let's do a bit of a recap for week two. For my predictions, I went 12 and 4. The ones I got incorrect was uh, the Browns actually won. Um, Joe Burrow and the Bengals dropped to 0 and 2 in this one. The Titans beat the Jaguars in a very exciting game. The Colts surprisingly beat Minnesota. And the Cardinals won. But besides that, I was pretty good on my uh, predictions. And this was a pretty exciting week. We had a lot of great games. Josh Allen looks great. Big Ben looks back to himself. Justin Herbert, I thought, had a pretty nice start. The Ravens look good. I, I, with all the injuries, I hope the players get better. The Niners still win. Seattle wins a crazy game. Uh, kind of my upset of the week. The Raiders did win the Las Vegas home opener. That was a good game. Uh, I know we had some great NFC games. Tom Brady getting his first win as a Buccaneer. Dallas winning a crazy game. Um, just a lot of good games. I want to begin week three with Thursday Night Football. Last Thursday, we had the Battle of Ohio. This week, it's the Battle of Florida with Minshew Mania and the Jaguars hosting Fitzmagic and the Dolphins. I'm just really excited for this game. I think this will be a very fun, entertaining football game. The two quarterbacks, I wouldn't say trash talking, but they've been kind of joking about each other. Um, I think it'll be fun, but I'm going to pick the Jaguars to win, even with DJ Chark out. Um, I think that they've had good offensive pieces besides that. The running game has looked great in Jacksonville, and they have a lot of young defenders. Fitzpatrick has had some nice throws, but he's also had a good amount of turnovers. I think the Jaguars win. Las Vegas Raiders and the New England Patriots. These two teams have a bit of a, a historic rival. This is going to be a really fun one. Vegas trying to go 3-0 in the season. I'm going with the Patriots. And the reason is, week one, we had Cam Newton running the ball very well. Week two, we had him passing the ball very well. And week three, cue the John Williams score. Because I think Super Cam comes back and just puts on a show here. Running, passing, um... I think that the Patriots are going to win an entertaining game. I just don't really trust this Raiders defense, and I think this will be close, but I'm going to go with the home team. Um, here, this one, I don't think will be as close. The Steelers, I think, are going to win and go to 3-0, as these Texans will drop to 0-3. Deshaun Watson's talented, but just he has no time by, behind that offensive line, and I think TJ Watt and the Steelers are going to really um, get a lot of pressure and sacks. This is the first game between Deshaun Watson and Big Ben, and I think Watson will make some nice throws, but I just think the Steelers could win, let's say, 24-16. Um, another big win here, I'm going to go with the Colts. Um, the Jets, I think, are the most are the least impressive team so far this season. Um, Phil Rivers, he's had some mistakes, but against a Jets defense that has struggled, I think the Colts are going to win. All right, pretty entertaining Monday night game here between the Chiefs and Ravens round three for Mahomes v. Jackson. Um, I think this will be close. You have two clutch kickers as well, Harrison Bucker and Justin Tucker. I'm going to be going with the Ravens. I just think that the Chiefs defense has struggled a bit. They have struggled to stop the run, and that's what Baltimore does so well. I think this will be one of the best games of the week, but I'm going to go with the Ravens. And I think Lamar Jackson gets his first win against Patrick Mahomes. They have a good amount of AFC versus NFC games, which always makes me happy. And I think this game is kind of being slept on a bit with the Rams and the Bills. Um, I think this will be very exciting. Two teams that have scored a lot of points offensively, uh, Jared Goff versus Josh Allen. I think this will be a really fun game to watch. I'm going to go with the Rams. This is a coin flip, honestly, for me, between the Bills and the Rams. I just like the Rams' defense a bit more, and I think Jaron Ramsey can take away Stephon Diggs, who has played very well this season. So I think it'll be fun. Each quarterback will make great plays. I'm just going with Los Angeles. Washington team and the Browns. Um, I'm going to go with the Browns on this one. I just think that their offense clicked in Week 2, and I think they can do that. Um, one thing that Washington struggled with in the loss to Arizona is their run defense, and that's what Cleveland has done so well. So I think the Browns get a second straight win in a row. Bengals-Eagles. My heart and my gut wants to tell me, as an Eagles fan, they'll get their first win of the season, you know. Oh, but part of this, you know, weekly series and part of being in the football world is not going off that heart and gut. It's going after what you see on the film. And the film tells me I'm going with the Bengals. Joe Burrow, I think, has played way better this season than Carson Wentz. I think Joe Mixon is going to get his big 
break against the Philadelphia run defense that has not been that great this season. Um, and I know the Bengals defense has kind of been up and down, but I like them against this Eagles offense, especially with Jaron Rager out. Rager, I hope he gets better. I'm going with the Bengals. I think this will be a very close game, but I think the Cincinnati Bengals get their first one of the season. Titans, Vikings, Ryan Tannehill, and Derrick Henry versus Kirk Cousins and Dalvin Cook. Two similar play-action schemes. I'm going with the Titans in this one. I just think that Tannehill has played a lot better. I think Cousins is really missing the absence of Stephon Diggs, and I think the Titans' defense will have a good game. Yeah, there will probably be nice runs by Cook, but I think, you know, let's say... I'm going to go Tennessee 23, Vikings 13. Um, Panthers, Chargers, I, uh, Justin Herbert is starting. Um, I am going to go with the Chargers victory at home. I just think that their defense has looked super good this year. And I think they're going to really do well against the Panthers team that struggle with turnovers. And I think the secondary can lock down guys like DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson. I hope Tyler Taylor gets better. But Justin Herbert impressed me in his start, and I think he'll get a win here against the Panthers. Tom Brady's had a lot of games here in Mile High Stadium. Um, this one I think is going to win in the Buccaneers-Broncos game. Um, Broncos have a ton of injuries. Even with that being said, even if Drew Locke, say, was playing, I'll probably go Tampa Bay. They look... Their defense has looked pretty nice, and I think Brady's going to get more comfortable as the season goes on. I can see this being a very defensive game. Tampa Bay winning like 17-10. to 10. I think Jeff Driscoll was nice in the Steelers game, but I'm going Tampa Bay. All right, NFC. Bears-Falcons. Um, I'm going with Atlanta. I think that the Bears will score some points. The Falcons' defense is not the best, but I think Matt Ryan has played very well this season. I think he'll get his first win. I just don't know if Trubisky and the offense can play up to that level. Even with all the Niners injuries, and I do hope they get better, I do think they beat the Giants. Nick Mullins is starting, and he played two seasons ago with the Niners. Um, it was uh, He had a nice game against the Raiders back then. You know, he's been in this scheme. He has a lot of preparation and work. Kyle Shanahan's a great offensive coach, and the Giants, even though, especially with Saquon being out, their offense has just not clicked. Um, so I'm going to go with San Fran. Detroit, Arizona. Um, I think in the first half, this will be an entertaining game. I, you know, Matthew Stafford is talented and there's great Lions pieces there. The Lions defense has just not played great. I'm going Arizona by about 10 to 15. Um, could I see it being close? Eh, I don't know about that. Cowboys, Seahawks. I'm going to go with um, the Seahawks on this one. I think that both offenses are... Very talented. I think there's a lot of good pieces here on both sides of the ball. Russell Wilson and what he's been doing in a fantastic year. Dak Prescott in that offensive core. I just think Russell Wilson's a more experienced passer, so I'm going to go with Seattle. All right, closing out us here, we have Sunday night. Green Bay Packers and the New Orleans Saints, two of the best quarterbacks uh, that we've seen in the past 10 or so years. Aaron Rodgers against Drew Brees. I'm going to go with Green Bay. Um, I think both quarterbacks will make great plays but Drew Brees just seems to be struggling and I the Packers offense just looks amazing with Aaron Jones I gotta give credit to Matt LaFleur I think this will be high scoring but I have the Packers getting the win so here are my weekly picks for this week I think it's gonna be a very fun week I'm um, going over to my fantasy leagues here this one I am one and one I think Cam Newton do well Nick Chubb Chris Carson I am starting Robbie Anderson a bit of a risk here but he's had a very nice season with the Panthers, T.Y. Halton, I think he can do well against the Jets. I picked up John New Smith here, except for him, C.D. Lamb. Eagles defense, still having trust for them. And then Justin Tucker. And then my other fantasy league here, I have Rodgers, Dalvin Cook. I think could have maybe struggle a bit, but I think he get some big runs. And Clyde was hilarious. Um, I really like my wide receivers here, Lockett, against a struggling Dallas defense. Cooper Cup, I, I really like that matchup. Michael Gallup, I think, can do well. So, kind of putting a lot of, you know, a lot of NFC players this week. But hopefully they all go well. I have the Ravens defense, a bit of a risk. But I think it's also special teams. So I think Justin Tucker could have some really nice clutch game-winning kicks, hopefully. Anyways, guys, I'll do it here. This is my Tam and Doing Love. I'll see you for another episode.